This is Mr. Salzman, and I'm back with part two of my plagiarism video series. In this one, I'm going to remind you about why you should care about plagiarism. I'm going to talk about when you need to credit information sources, and I'm going to talk about the three ways to use information. Notice I don't tell you how to credit information sources. That will be between you and your audience, whether it's your teacher or wherever else you're sharing information. I do want to remind you that the reason we don't want to plagiarism, we don't want to plagiarize is because it's theft. Literally, we're stealing ideas, but it's more than that. It also represents a missed opportunity for us to learn. Now, learning is really cool, and there's some reasons why I'm a big fan of it. Number one, learning challenges us as to grow as humans. Secondly, learning allows us to understand and use information, which is really important. Learning also allows us to explain information to others who may not understand it, which also in turn helps us learn even more. And finally, when we learn, we are able to support our opinions with accurate information, which makes them more powerful and more convincing. Learning stops when we plagiarize, and that's why it's so important that we not plagiarize. What can you do? Well, first of all, the first thing you do is organize yourself so that you can avoid plagiarism at all costs. And the way to do this is to number one, make sure there's no accidental plagiarism. This typically happens when students run out of time. So my first suggestion is if you're doing a large research project or a small one even, make sure that you make and follow an assignment schedule. That will make sure that you divide your time in a way that you won't get rushed at the last minute to do everything. Secondly, it's really important to organize your materials so that you know where everything is and where it comes from. And finally, you need to find a way to record the sources of all your ideas so that you can find them easily and transfer them into your final project. I use Google Docs for that, but there's lots of ways to do this. The first question you need to ask about whether you need to cite a source of information is, did I already know this? If you did, or if it's considered common knowledge, you don't need to cite that source of information. But everything else, you do need to cite. So no matter how you use information, you need to say where you got it from. Now there's three ways to use information that you find, at least as text. The first way is to use what's called a direct quotation. You're probably pretty familiar with that. The second way is to paraphrase it. And the final way is to summarize it. Now quotations are easy to do, but there's some rules that you have to follow religiously. Number one, you must use quotation marks. Secondly, the quote must be exactly as found. You can't change anything about it. And finally, you must give credit to the person who said or wrote it. Simple to use, but make sure you follow those. Paraphrasing is a little more complicated. That's where we take someone else's ideas and put them in our own words. Your paper can't be a bunch of quotes because then really there's not you in it. So it's important that you engage with the information and paraphrasing is a way to do that. Make sure you follow this process where you read the information, you understand the information, you think about that information, and then you write it in your own words. It's best if you don't even look at the information as you're writing it. Otherwise, you risk changing just a few words, which is not paraphrasing. That's actually an incorrect quotation. The final way to use information is summarizing, and that's where we reduce a large work into a few key ideas. You might take a book and just say what the main ideas in it were. That's a little easier to do, although it takes a lot more reading to read an entire book. Just make sure whether you quote, or paraphrase or summarize that you tell your audience where you got your information from. So let's wrap this up. Number one, you shouldn't, you shouldn't plagiarize because it's theft and it takes away your opportunities to learn. Two, anytime you use information that you didn't already know, you need to say where you got it from. And finally, there's three ways you can use information. You can use a direct quotation where you have quotation marks, have the exact words as said, and you say who said it. You can paraphrase, where you use the information, but you put it in your own words and still say where you got it from. Or you can summarize where you take a large body of work and reduce it to a few key ideas. If you follow this advice, you'll be in good hands. Now remember, the way you cite your stuff is up to you and your teacher. I really don't care. Just make sure you let people know what stuff in your paper or other project is from you and what stuff is from somewhere else. I can't wait to see your research. Thanks for listening.